Hey, what's up guys? So, there is a new firmware update that's coming out for the ALP. It's firmware version 5.4.2, and it's rolling out here over the next day or two, uh, and it adds a couple new features. Uh, the first feature that it's going to be adding is a feature called Auto LID Speed, which is basically going to allow you to automatically kill your jammers when you drop below a certain speed. So, uh, let's say you're driving on the highway, you get shot with laser, you slow down, you drop below the speed, and your jammers automatically disable. Uh, that is the Auto LID functionality. Uh, because it is speed-based, it does require a GPS antenna plugged into your ALP, and as long as you've got that, you now have uh, Auto JTK based on speed. Uh, another thing that's been added is an update uh, to Auto JTK based on time. So by default, when you get shot with uh, a laser gun, uh, your ALP will jam for four seconds, and you can change how long that is. And then after four seconds, your jammers will automatically disarm and allow the officer to get a speed reading on you. Uh, so I use four seconds here, but now you have the option of uh, you know one second or two seconds. For those of you guys who want a really, really quick JTK, you now have the option for the ALP to uh, disable itself even faster as needed, which is really nice if you're you know, really good on uh, standing on the brakes when you get shot with laser. Now there's also been some improvements uh, to both the radar and the laser side of the ALP. So we've got some performance improvements as well as some bug fixes. Uh, and there's also been some changes to the uh, configuration file. And so the uh, firmware update process, there's a couple important things that we need to talk about. So let's talk about how the, uh, the update process works. Now, when you go to update your ALP, uh, two ways to do it, of course. One, you can do it from your phone if you're running the Bluetooth module. You just go into the app and tell the ALP to update the firmware. It'll go online and it'll download the latest firmware. It takes a couple minutes, so you can just do it while you're driving. Uh, the other option, of course, is you can go to alpupdate.com uh, and you can go over here and click on firmware update. You're going to want to type in the serial number for your ALP's uh, control box, that white box. There's a serial number. You plug that in, uh, and you can download the firmware update specifically for your ALP. Uh, the other thing is uh, if you're running a Hi-Fi module, there's also been an update for the Hi-Fi module control set. You can see it came out last month. So if you haven't updated the control set since last month, just click on uh, this big button here, and it'll also download the, uh, the Hi-Fi control set update for you as well. So update to Hi-Fi if you're running Hi-Fi, and also update to the firmware. Uh, then just put in a USB drive, plug it into your ALP, and it'll update your laser jammers. Firmware updating. Please wait. Now, once you update your ALP, it's going to actually go in and reset to factory default settings because it doesn't have the new settings uh, like with the, uh, the auto LID speed, right? So you're going to need to either go into your phone, uh, go in and modify the settings and make sure you just double check everything and, uh, you know, configure all the settings as needed. Or, of course, you can do it here from your computer as well. Now, a quick note, as far as uh, accessing these new settings, because uh, it is a GPS-based feature, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, make sure you have GPS turned on. If you have GPS turned off, you'll notice some features do actually go away. If you turn it on, you're going to have more functionality that's GPS related actually show up, including auto LID. By default, it's going to be turned off, so you won't see anything here. But when you go to turn auto LID on, you'll see the uh, the speed pop up here, and you can actually choose what speed you want your jammers to automatically disable at. Then you just go in, and you'll see right here, we've got the option for save and download. Put it on a USB drive. Again, copy over to your ALP and it'll update your firmware. Uh, now, if you have any questions about it, like for example, you're saying, hey, you know, I see an option for auto LID speed and LID speed limit, what's the difference? Uh, so a couple ways of moving forward. The first thing, of course, is uh, just hop onto RDF here. This is where all the discussions and Q&A and that kind of stuff is happening. So a uh, good discussion here. Also, my ALP setup guide that I have on my website, uh, I've gone over and actually explained what all the different settings and options mean. So you can just go here and uh, read over all the different options and it'll explain, well, what everything does, which is really, really handy. So that's a great resource for you. And I uh, just updated this as well uh, with a lot of the new options explaining things like uh, auto LID and LID speed limit for you. So that's all going to be there as well. And I'll put the links to all this stuff down in the video description. So. Awesome. There you go. Uh, you're going to want to update the ALP and go in and uh, update the settings as well. All the information is right here on RDF, and I'll put links to everything down in the video description below. So awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Happy updating, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.